from 1984 they built this for a Disney movie oh my gosh it's so cool look at the trees coming in <laughs> the trees coming in trees coming in stay there wow that's incredible no insulation, so you can imagine. Stay with me. Look at this, like a big hook chest or something. It's pooping it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. No, that's pretty neat, though. Get back. Crooked right there, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Hey, whoa, whoa, let's see what's back here. Ooh, ew, ew, I got a warm feeling. Ew, I don't know. There's a warm feeling in here. They hide all the equipment. <laughs> but look at this great door. Made these like, you know, even though this is like from 1984, these fenced in porches are really kind of neat. You know, if you think about it, it's a really good idea because you know how sometimes you want to sit outside with there's flies, you know? That's a big pump right there. That's a big pump. 
I mean, it's huge. You think they call it rocky? I think this is a big pump, you know? And, um, like I said, this is historical, this place. This was an oil boom town from 1876. And it was founded by Charles Metro. And they named the town after him, so they call it Metroville. Um, and there were 200 people lived here, right? 200 people lived here. And what I find is the most astonishing fact of this place is, is he did not allow a bar. <laughs> he did not allow a bar. He instilled the Puritanism. And, you know, I don't know. It's very hard to find a mining town or any kind of any kind of a town where you had hardworking men where there wasn't a bar. I mean, that's incredible. So, the town was established in 1876. The oil rig at the time was the largest producing oil rig of its time. Now, uh, what it was is the oil rig was eventually taken over by none other than Standard Oil. <laughs> Standard Oil. Okay. Remember the clotheslines? I mean, honestly, <laughs> if I had a place like this, I would prefer a clothesline because your clothes just, you know, they, they get the sunshine to make them you know, I think they dry differently. Well, check this out, you ready? Here it is. It's the mansion. This is a 13 bedroom mansion by the founder, Charles Metro. 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 Anyways, what I was saying is that this place was established in 1876 as not a gold town, but a oil town. And it was eventually taken over by Standard Oil. But to me, the most amazing thing is he had 200 residents here, right? He had, oh my gosh, look at guys. No way, he's so Great. Is that he had 200 people living here, right? They built they built their own school. They had their own workshop. They had their own mechanic shop. And what they did not have, which is unheard of, is he had no bars. No bars for the men. I mean, that's unheard of. Because you have a lot of men who are really, really hard workers, right? They're hard workers, and what's their goal? Their goal is to work, get a wife, have a family. You know? Um, and if you don't have all those things, you certainly need a damn bar. <laughs> you know? To cool off. You know, to chill out at the end of the day. Wow, look at this porch. No way! Wow, look at that! This is like so cool. This, I mean, it's kind of cool where you have a wraparound porch, you know, a wraparound porch, and and then you have the fireplace on the outside, which is really cool, and then you have a side entrance, and that is a really, really cool door. Oh my gosh, look at this. I think this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Then, I mean, look at this, even, um, because you got the screen, see? Anyways, um, it's probably the kitchen, huh? And then, 
Like even look at this is this is a like a Victorian style home. Look at all the details. Now here's what's really cool. Which ready? So so I'm out here. I'm in the porch. Okay, this is the porch. A wraparound porch. You come into the screen porch and look at what this is right here. Ready? Oh my God. Seriously? What is under there? Scary. You think there's any way it's unlocked? I doubt it. Get off! Get off! Get! Dog man. None of my friends will come with me, so I gotta take the pooch. What the heck? Heckaroo! No way! This is unbelievable! 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 Where is the ranger? I want him to tell me about this stuff. <sighs> oh my gosh! What is this? Look, see how big the house is? This is pretty old too. So I remember coming back here in the 70s. And we um we all said that this place is, you know, devil worshippers and there were definitely caretakers back here. You know what I mean? How spooky. Like <laughs> it's a little town, right? What is this? See how they're trying to keep like the rodents out. Good luck with that, right? Somebody decided, you know, they better barricade it. I don't know what that's for. Oh man, those are some big square bolts. Look at how big these windows are. Oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's the kitchen. <laughs> Cupboards. Look at all the wood. This is so cool. Let's see this way. Wow, it's actually a really big kitchen for 1876. You know? Really big. I mean, this goes. Look at how high up these windows go. Dang. Hey. Oh my god. Look at Wow. It's weird how they used to make houses with the thin pieces of wood. You know? And the floors were super duper sturdy. This is a nice size room. I mean, like the Victorian type era, you see how the ceilings are really high. You know? And look, there's a lonely bench. This bench with a nice little fence. <laughs> So what do you think? They like came out here and just sat? I mean, look at one, two, three, four windows up top. You see, if this is a cute little yard. Super cute. Remember when you used to do the bricks like that sideways? I remember that at my grandma's house. You know, they probably had some stuff growing here, some food, fruit trees. And here's, you cannot have an old house without having a nice little tree in the front yard. So apparently, this property, which is 800 acres, you can go hiking here. And they, um, it was donated to the Santa Susana, Santa Monica mountain range, you know, park. Driving down these roads at night in the 70s. I mean... <laughs> That was pretty scary. And we had a lot of crap going on in the 70s, you know? Like, there were, you know, besides no cell phones, there was no, there were killers all over, and police didn't have the technology to find them. People's bodies were being dumped, and still to this day, you can't find them. So, coming down this road at night was beyond scary.